Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us. Today we have two special guests, Dr. Juan Uribe from the University of South Florida. He's the director of spine surgery there, and Dr. William Taylor from UC San Diego, uh, a dear friend and a mentor who is also the director of spine surgery at UC San Diego. You're going to talk to us about a very important topic, and that uh, first session, the first part, would include minimally invasive approaches to the lateral spine and would review basic concepts and anatomical correlations. The second part will review more expanded applications of such technique. Gentlemen, Juan and Bill, thank you for joining us and please take it away. My name is Juan Uribe and uh, I have a pleasure today to participate on the series uh, that have an amazing academic uh, input in our profession. So today we're going to talk about the minimal invasive lateral access to the spine. And uh, it's a pleasure for me to participate with Dr. Taylor that uh, is one of the pioneers in the technique. This technique has been for almost 10 years on the field and uh, Dr. Taylor actually uh, was the first person to perform a lateral access minimal invasive in America. And uh, I will be so um, delighted to interact with him through the entire presentation. We will review the technique with all the details and uh, also avoiding complications. And the last part will be including the expanded application through the thoracolumbar and thoracic spine as well and uh, we will run through cases and a uh, little uh, details on the technique. So that's my uh, disclosures. And the lateral access to the spine was initially described in Brazil by Dr. Pimenta. And uh, later on, the technique was perfection in America and uh, there is now multiple options on the market. It's a minimal invasive technique. Uh, the access is through uh, the retroperitoneum, through the psoas, into the spine. So as we see, is a lateral. And is critical during the access the use of the intraoperative EMG monitoring. As we see later on, it's a critical part of the uh, procedure itself. And it's a conventional surgery uh, using a small incision. Uh, this is uh, something that is important because the surgeons can get to a learning curve easily since you're still using your uh, same pro uh, instruments to do other surgeries, so you don't need to have this fast training that include, for example, the laparoscopic techniques, and has been proved that it's safe and reproducible. It's an alternative to uh, all other procedures, and it has a significant advantages. Uh, at this point, uh, I would like to ask Dr. Taylor uh, a little bit of introduction of, um, through the lateral access to the spine. Uh, how how this procedure came to here and how you develop the technique in America. Well, uh, thank you, Juan. It's certainly a pleasure to uh, discuss this with you today. Um, although we did the first one here at UCSD, it's certainly been Dr. Uribe who has advanced this technique, published it, popularized it, and uh, really expanded the applications into every part of the thoracic and, and lumbar spine. So um, we really have Juan to thank for bringing this into the, the forefront of minimally invasive surgery. I would say that this is one of the techniques which evolved with minimally invasive surgery. As you know, minimally invasive surgery for the spine has been somewhat slow to progress. Uh, originally slow because of uh, some uh, outcomes which were not not great and, and endoscopic techniques and thoracoscopic techniques which were difficult to reproduce and and required very very significant and difficult and complicated technology 
Uh, I think one 